early as 1982. Contact the FBI's 24-hour hotline at 212-384-1000 with any information related to this case. Two Queens teenagers are speaking out about their lives in foster care and the organization that's helped them rise above their challenges. Your Queens' Arlene Bornstein has a story. Tiana Barnwell and Cristal Cyrus may seem like your average teenagers, but tough circumstances place them into foster care. Cyrus says she lost her mother and father to drugs. I was pretty much on my own at 15 to 16 years old. But the girls are not alone. They are clients of the New York Foundling. The organization's goal is to keep children out of foster care by offering a number of services to them, their parents, or any relatives caring for them. When I was placed with my aunt, I started to like get better in school and she started to help me and then they provided me with a therapist. The girls also score jobs this summer thanks to a new foundling initiative that helps employ kids in foster care as well as people living with developmental disabilities. To make this happen, the organization began a partnership with Coffeed. The specialty coffee shop hired the girls at their flat location in Long Island City. I love it there. Coffeed is also slated to open a new store inside the lobby of the Foundlings headquarter building in Chelsea. The shop will only pay about 50% of the market price for rent, but in exchange it will provide 10% of its Chelsea sales to the nonprofit organization. We'll have a direct line to their employment needs. To celebrate the charitable venture, New York artist Gregory Siff made this mural in front of the Foundling building. Families with the organization sent him these inspiring words. It would mean so much to me if you put this heart on with the hands of a heart and say the word thankful. And I was like, you got it. Though the mural is outside their Chelsea headquarters, the organization has offices across the city, including Queens, where they say they have the largest foster care population. They're amazing. It's a lot of help. It's something I would like to do in the future. Cyrus and Barnwell say they'll save up for college with the money they earn this summer. In Chelsea, Arlene Bornstein, New York One. Still to come on New York tonight, they balance the city budget, but how are they doing when it comes to managing their own money? We'll take a close look at the city council members' latest financial discussion.